once they win. Howdy, cowpoke. Your dear old Huckleberry Sheriff Otter is back, but instead of gunning down every degenerate in this one-horse town, I come bearing a build that's sure to bring a God-fearing man to his very knees. And before you all ask, I most certainly am not going to speak like this the entire video. In fact... <clears throat> Sorry. I just watched Tombstone again. It's a good movie. Val Kilmer. Anyway, today we're talking about one of the strongest ranged auto attack builds in the entire game, the Fire Strike Purifier. A build that can melt wave after wave of enemies with a single strike and can stand and fight with the very best. As always, I want to thank you all for the tremendous amount of support you've given me as we just reached the 1,000 subscriber threshold, which is just super duper exciting. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out my other content. You won't be disappointed. Probably. Maybe. With that being said, let's do the damn thing. This build is an adaptation of Afanasenkov 26's excellent Desolator Purifier that dishes out immense single target and AoE damage thanks to the Fire Strike line as well as Inquisitor's powerful weapon pool skills. You can stand and tank almost anything in the game thanks to the incredibly powerful Inquisitor's Seal and Blast Shield combo, as well as multiple sources of attack damage converted to health and the Fumble Chance Flashbang applies. The core of this set is the Justice Armor, a four-piece set consisting of helmet, shoulders, gloves, and chest armor. While the set seems to be designed for tanky fire-based fighters, it has two major strong points that really amp up this build. First, it gives us a ton of tank stats, including a massive bonus to our max health pool, flat armor and armor absorption to help mitigate physical attackers, and a solid chunk of defensive ability. And second, a hugely powerful proc that gives us a giant amount of flat fire damage as well as attack speed. Other key items include the two-handed rifle, the Desolator, which bumps up the power of our Inquisitor weapon pool skill, Bursting Round, by increasing the AoE and flat damage, as well as giving our Flashbang the ability to shred 100 offensive ability from our enemies, which will artificially bolster our defensive ability. The mythical Chaucis of Barbaros, which grants us the Battlecry proc, an ability that triggers when we take damage, which will increase our total speed and damage output, and the non-mythical Blood Sigil of Cathan, which can proc to give us flat fire damage and chaos damage to our attack. Be careful not to use the mythical Blood Sigil of Cathan, as it will drastically lower your DPS. If you're looking to change up this build or make it your own, try using the Dagalon set for a higher DPS, but more fragile version of this build, or you can swap out the metal with the Pyroclasm mark if you're having trouble finding the lower level item. For Devotions, make certain that you use the Hydra Constellation, the marquee for any ranged build as it offers a massive source of flat damage and attack damage converted to health. In the same way that Hydra is key for any ranged build, Kraken is an all-star for anyone looking to make use of two-handed weapons, boasting an impressive 20% attack speed and 15% critical strike damage. Soleil's Witchblade has a 26% fire resistance shred and Roan's Crown is key for the flat elemental resistance reduction. Finally, Ulzuin's Torch is massively powerful fire damage proc that will push our AI we into the absurd. In the Demolitionist Tree, we need to invest 50 out of 50 points, which unlocks the Brimstone Node, a powerful modifier to our base attack Fire Strike, which also gets maxed out. In that same tree, we soft cap Explosive Strike while only putting one point into Static Strike, as it doesn't offer up a substantial contribution to our build. The modifier, Searing Might, increases the base damage of Fire Strike by 20% and grants a 15% critical strike damage boost as long as we are using a two-handed weapon. A soft capped Thermite Mines shreds 40% elemental resistance and Blast Shield is the single most powerful circuit breaker in the entire game. Flashbang with the Searing Light modifier shreds 250 defensive ability from enemies, making them much more susceptible to crits while giving them a 30% chance to fumble their attack. Flame Touch boosts our fire damage by nearly 200% as well as giving us flat fire damage and 177 defensive ability. So of course, it gets maxed out. Temper gives us a boost to our defensive ability, so it gets a single point. Finally, Vindictive Flame and Ulzuin's Wrath boost our total speed by 13% while giving us sustain and a retaliation proc. But there are much more important nodes for this build, so they sit at 11 and 6 points, respectively. In the Inquisitor Tree, we also invest 50 points in order to unlock the super important Aura of Sensor, which even further reduces enemy elemental resistance. The three weapon pool skills at the top, Bursting Round, Chilling Round, and Storm Spread, get enough points to gain a 20% chance of activation, with a single point to put into range expertise to pick up some extra attack speed. 
Just below that, pick up Word of Renewal and max it out for greater on-demand heal as well as a massive boost to defensive ability. Be sure to pick up the Word of Arms modifier to lower Word of Renewal's cooldown since we are using a two-handed weapon. Put a few points into Vigor for the bonus health and crowd control resistance and Soft Cap Steel Resolve for the Aether and Chaos resistance. Inquisitor Seal is our biggest source of survivability so we max it out to raise the flat damage absorption as high as possible. Throw a few points into Arcane Empowerment for the flat elemental damage and bonus crit damage. Finally, we soft cap deadly aim for the massive boost to offensive ability and critical strike damage. When leveling this build, I recommend using Fire Strike in order to get the playstyle down. An early investment in Explosive Strike gives you the AoE clear you need to blow through the game with great ease. Make sure you pick up Vindictive Flame and Ozun's Wrath early for great mobility and sustain. Eventually, you'll want to invest in Thermite Mines for the great resistance reduction before landing on Brimstone for even further AoE damage. The playstyle for this build is really straightforward. Only things you need to remember are to always be standing on an Inquisitor's seal, have a blanket of thermite mines in front of you, and always flashbang before attacking. If you are looking for a build that's powerful and straightforward, this build is for you. It's an excellent intro build for new players looking to experience endgame content or older players who want to turn their brain off and blow down a few enemies. As the sun sets in the Wild West, I'd like to thank y'all from the very depths of my heart for watching my content. Honestly, if you enjoyed what you just saw, then consider doing me the kindness of liking this old video or becoming a subscriber for the low, low cost of nothing. If you don't, I'm afraid the strain would simply be too much for me to bear.